Hey guys, I'm finally done with the um, maps that I'm going to use for Scout in the um, Five Nights at Freddy's thing. So this is going to be the setup. Sorry if I'm not talking very well. It's like, I don't know, it's like 9 in the morning. Now 10. So I haven't woken up all the way. Um, so this is going to be scout set up right here. Um, I had to use like a million blocks to fill all of this in. And I did it the same with the mirror that's usually there. And if I was sitting right here, if I press the left arrow, there's lights that actually go on for a few seconds and then turn off. But you can turn them on and off manually. And same as the other one. And there's five cameras, so I have to hold one to go to the first camera, two to go to the second camera, three to go to the third one, four. This is going to be the uh, uh, stage, um, and this will be where Foxy sits. I might also add another camera because I'm wanting to put Balloon Boy in this, even though, um, you know, he doesn't really. He's not in the first game. And if I go all the way out here, I had to fill it in with like millions of blocks. Like right here, there would normally be a doorway. Right there, there would be two. Over there, and there. And, I mean, for some reason, light still shines through this. I'm guessing that's just how they made the map, and they don't actually have real lighting in this. They just put it in there. If you want, I can show you guys how I set up the cameras, because I'm going to put another one in for Balloon Boy right now, then I'm going to save my game. Alright, sixth camera. Where should I put uh, Balloon Boy at? Maybe like right there? I guess. If you guys want. Um, I can put it somewhere else. I can put it, like, facing in from behind, or bring it all the way over here. Turn it around. And there we go. So that's how it would look. They all look like crap because they're all tilted on their sides. But there's nothing I can do about it, because trying to handle these things with the physics gun is extremely hard and stupid. I won't have any buttons or anything for doors, I'm just going to make them like drop down, sorta, of, with um, stop motion, few mod animations, which is what I do. Surprisingly, that doesn't look too weird to do that. It's like a very, very dark brick wall. I thought the brick would kind of look like the rest of the brick that's on the wall, but it didn't, but I, I'm keeping it anyway. I had to make the fan because apparently there aren't any fans in either Half-Life or um, Team Fortress or any of those other things. I have a million mods, but none of them have a little fan, so I had to make this fan out of a bunch of props. Fan! This is going to have a dark secret behind it. That's right, Mr. Fan. And then we have this the keyboard. Keyboard looks like crap. I don't know if that's from a mod that I have or not, but, um, I don't know. That, these things are from Freeman's, um, I think model pack, I'm not sure. Toy pack something, because he has a lot of packs. I use a lot of his things because they're good to use and, and things that I do. Um, with the keyboard, it looks like the mouse is supposed to be on this side, but I am right handed, so I'm used to putting it on that side. Maybe Scout's right handed too, who knows. Um, 
this looks extremely weird because I couldn't fit the uh, thingy in the right way. It's because, like, oh, this room is extremely bright. I don't even know what that room's supposed to be there for or why it's even there. But it just is there. This is what it looks like from the outside. There's no way to get in it, I don't think. I have God mode on because I would like put these things up and like push it against the ground and it'd fling up and punch me in the face and I'd die. That's why I'm God. Let's see if I can. I'll get around camera. Yeah. My character model is Samus from Metroid. So now we get to get a good picture to save it in my saves. I'm going to be doing this. Alright. Uh, post process. Let's see if we can make it look any better. Whoa, drug. Try depth of field overlays. Oh, that I don't think I'm going to use any of that stuff. Shaders, sun rays, and something. Hello, oh, bloom, too. I actually took a picture of that. Um, texturize. I don't need any of that stuff. I go to saves. My save. And then save game. And there you go. Just a picture just like that. But now I'm going to have all these weird effects in my face. So I need to go to them and then take them all out. Oh, I didn't use any of those. Alright, apparently the are still on shoulders. For some reason, my D key is really hot. It's burning my finger. Ooh, let's see if I can mold it. Is it like getting hot from the computer? I don't know, maybe the, the letters just come off. Cause that happened to all my other keys. You can't even tell there was a letter on my A key. My W key just looks like a little dot. Alright, so this is what I'm going to be using since no one ever makes any Five Nights at Freddy's maps without Counter-Strike, which I don't have Counter-Strike, because I would use a normal one if they had one that didn't use Counter-Strike. So you can get mad at all of them, not me, because there aren't any Five Nights at Freddy's maps that I can find that don't use Counter-Strike. So I had to make my own crappy one. With, um, Construct. Construct is my favorite map, though. Surprisingly, I'm not lagging whatsoever. Video is forever for, you, forever for you guys until I get a better recorder into screen crap o -matic. It's probably going to be extremely laggy and ugly looking for you guys, as usual. I am not lagging a single bit. Alright, so... I'll just do some random crap while I'm looking for the time to, to go out. Why is he swimming? He was just swimming for a few seconds. I don't know why it does that. 
of movement or strength that might work incorrectly. Which this time it isn't. Usually it works perfectly fine. We selected it. Maybe they'll stop swimming now. Yeah, he stops. For some reason, it doesn't always jump scare when it's supposed to. The spring trap. Well, people have been yelling about the mod, mod creator about it to fix it, and the weird movement type thing in the console. It spams your console and lags your game for some retarded reason. I can kill blocks! Why is that even possible? You can kill blocks. I'm gonna go kill four blocks. Does that mean I can kill ragdolls too? Kill a lot. Freaking spring traps and all those. Yeah, it's crazy. I never get scared from spring traps jump scare though, because he doesn't even jump scare, he just like walks in and he's like, Hey there, Mr. Sexy Man. Let me crawl into your office. He doesn't even jump scare you, he just goes into your office and stares at you for a while. And then you die. Alright. Why can I kill blocks? This is so retarded, I'm gonna talk to the mod creator about this. Can you kill blocks with any other kill pack mod? Let's see. What other things do I have in kill packs? Team Fortress. Oh, uh, okay. I better not have crashed it. I think I did. Alright, I didn't crash it. This is lagging a lot. So let's see if I shoot these blocks enough before they die. Maybe it's only with the spring trap. Open up all the doors. I have some scared the doors. Who's the security guard in, in the last game? Wait, can I kill the cameras? Wait, that'd be cool to see spring trap on the camera. Let me see. Three. Let's see. If I aim at the camera. 